Systems for Global Conservation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 251. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jade Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 251, January 14th, 2018 edition. Let's talk about systems for global conservation. That's today's topic, and it's really one of the other foundations that One Community is all about. We're creating systems for global conservation by localizing the process of conservation through teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And we're taking this localized process of bringing people together and giving them everything that they need to support themselves through sustainable food, sustainable housing, sustainable energy, high good education models, high good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and stewardship models so that they can take care of their environments, they can build sustainably within an environment, take care of that environment, invite other people to participate, and operate on a global stage working together as a global cooperative and collaborative for the highest good of all life on this planet by using our model for collaboration, cooperation, contributing their modifications, adaptations, and changes to everything that is that we are developing right now by taking their modifications, adaptations, and changes and contributing it back to the open source uh, collective so that we can create more options, more ideas, more diversity, more ways to build what it is that we're creating in new and innovative ways that may be even better than the way that we're designing it right now. We would expect it to be. Our goal is to create the foundation of these systems for global conservation and then watch, watch human ingenuity and human creative uh, intelligence and desire to make things even better do just that. Make it even better. And our hope is that as people make it better, that they will contribute that back to the open source collective so that we can share that as well. And then there just becomes more and more options for people to choose from when building. And of course, we're starting with seven sustainable village models so that we have all the primary uh, sustainability building methods as an option for people to apply and use and ad adapt and modify and improve upon to create that foundation. And so... Our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate these systems for global conservation as attractive enough, the lifestyle that people will live within these systems, within these eco-communities and teacher demonstration hubs. We want to demonstrate that as significantly enough better than the way that most people are living right now so that people will want to replicate it. The more people that replicate this, the more open source content that's out there, the more we solve the challenges that are necessary for different regions, the more we expand the open source creative process and the open source uh, offerings that we have so that people will have even more options for implementing what it is that we're doing. This is how we're creating moral change. This is how we're developing systems for global conservation. And our systems include all aspects of a sustainable civilization because the goal is creating a world that works for everybody and we've had hundreds of volunteers contributing to this process to get to where we are and all of us are working on all those foundations the food systems the energy systems the housing systems the education systems the fulfilled living systems the true earth stewardship stewardship systems the highest good economic models like implementation of a resource-based economy and how that resource-based economy could work in collaboration with other system with other resource-based economies and other teacher demonstration hubs around the world, shifting our entire planet in that direction, creating a world built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. And it doesn't mean that we can't still have competition. It means that our operations and our desire is cooperation and collaboration, and competition is more of a secondary fun game that we play, internal competitions where nobody really loses. They're just to motivate us to continue to build and create and give even more to the global population, creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what One Community is doing, and everything that you see in the video here behind me is our work to this point creating that. 
this is what we're doing. This is how we're creating systems for global conservation, how we can create a truly sustainable planet that will benefit everybody, and how that sustainable world has the ability to simultaneously address and solve the greatest challenges of our lifetime and for the foreseeable future, which are poverty, social injustice and inequality, uh, war, famine, you know, hunger, homelessness, all of these things can be addressed simultaneously through sustainable village models, invite people to participate and do-it-yourself models for creating comprehensive sustainability that meets the needs of everybody that's participating and bringing the price down on that, making it easier for that to replicate so that people all over the world can implement these ideas and so that it's profitable enough so that governments and corporations and traditional money models want to invest in it as well. And so that people that want to escape those models have a model for doing exactly that, for creating what they want on their own, for building their own homes, for build, growing their own food, you know, or building their own sustainable infrastructure so their overhead is so low that they have more money to do whatever it is that they want. And through cooperation and collaboration and sharing things like tools and toys like you know, snowmobiles and off-roading vehicles and stuff like that, people can have more of what they want by investing a lot less in it and more free time to do what they want with that time. As we move more and more to virtual work and things like that, people don't have to run ecotourism resorts like one community will be, but they can. If you'd like to run a giant bed and breakfast that is an entire community and completely supports all your needs and never work another day in your life in a traditional job, that's what the one community model is all about. Like, you can do that. You could just run the bed and breakfast teacher demonstration hub and it would provide for all your needs. And so one community is open sourcing all of that, the economic models, the tax models, everything that goes along with it, everything that's necessary to run and operate that. We want to open source and free share that so that people can participate, replicate it, so the model can expand. And this is what it is that we're doing. So with that said, let's take a look at one week of our team's uh, progress and accomplishments. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization. Our team is all volunteer, and this is one week of our progress and accomplishments working towards systems for global conservation. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we continued working on the outdoor gym, where we designed the central equipment features of the main area. The core team also continued working on the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, we set up page 713, revised page 711, and created 711F and 112, as shown here. And the core team continued working on the water recycling net zero bathroom design page. This week's focus was adding the final text and images to the page. We'd say we're now about 40% complete with the page. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 96 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continuing designing the door seen here that will be for the freezer when complete. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 12th week working on the compressed earthblock village render editions. This week he made additional updates to the trees, people, and textures in this final render of the front access way. This image is now updated on the site also. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 44th week of work that created this initial presentation for the entire landscaped area. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her third week taking over development of the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential designs. This week she updated the windows, added a small office space under the stairs, added a pull-down ladder to the central second floor, and made all the central seating fold-up seats. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 12th week volunteering. This week's focus was beginning work on the shipping container village materials costs by completing all the initial cost calculations for materials, plumbing, electrical, furniture, etc. as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, 
time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center's structural engineering. What you see here are his next generation of updated calculations and tutorial content for the live and dead loads. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his eighth week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was running calculations to compare a square structure of the same volume to the current dome designs. You can see the initial results here. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 65th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing the modeling of the mezzanine area, third floor sunrise patio, and fourth floor cupola, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and began creating daily eating plans using the updated guidelines, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began researching images to add to the education evaluation and evolution process, open source pages and tutorials. This week, we found nine images for the assessment format page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Now that it's the new year, we also schedule our first two months of social media posts. Did you know our whole social media strategy is open source too? The pictures here show some of this and you can visit the site for the rest. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued working on the search engines for the website. This week, he created version 3.0 of the highest good of all search engine. You can see some of this work in progress here. The highest good network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Priti Kochari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, the team implemented user login that is mandatory for all routes, created a basic form for user to view and edit his profile, and created the admin route and implemented login authentication and the UI page. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards systems for global conservation. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There's an immense amount of information there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And of course, uh, if you'd like to manage your updates in a way other than email, uh, follow us on social media. Uh, if you'd like to support us in the easiest way possible, uh, like our stuff on social media, share our stuff on social media, like this video, uh, share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, to share our information. We are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to give access in whatever platform you prefer. And... Uh, Last but not least, thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for your support. Thank you for the donations that we get. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. Every little bit really makes a difference. So thanks for following our progress. Here's to a wonderful 2018. Second week of 2018 is now behind us. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.